the joys of fatherhood and what it means to be a dad. Our next guest is one of the most successful artists in the music world, selling more than 30 million albums and writing 14 number one hits for huge stars like Celine Dion, Barbara Streisand, Vince Gill, NSYNC, and even Josh Groban, among so many others. Richard Marks is also the co-writer behind one of the most iconic music tributes to dads ever. And that song, of course, is Luther Vandross' hit, Dance With My Father. And this year marks the song's 20th anniversary. And Richard is back with us celebrating all the dads he wrote the song for. Tam Fan, please welcome our friend, Grammy-winning, multi-platinum singer, superstar songwriter, father of three, the Richard Mark! So dapper. Hello, Dad. Happy Father's Day. It's Ham Fam. Tam in the house, Tam the dad Tam fam member. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. Thank you so much. How do you describe the journey of fatherhood? Your sons are older now. You've had Very. time to process it. <laughs> 32, 30, and 29. 32, 20. That's amazing. I just, you look I just 29. threw up in my mouth a little bit when I said that. <laughs> just like, uh, I can't believe that my sons are grown men, but the, the journey is any parent knows it's this you know yeah but eventually you you know if you're lucky you get to this place where it's just like this and it's really less... when is that because we're all wondering at what age that happened <laughs> it, it happened like 10 minutes ago <laughs> like 10 minutes ago <laughs> um you know we've talked about a lot of things in life and, and your music career is it's such a love letter to your late father who wrote jingles i think you were five years old yeah when you started to become exposed to what he did in music um, and what he brought to the world, looking back at the lessons that your dad taught you, how do you describe it? How did he contribute to the person you are as a father? Oh, in every way. I mean, he was, he was an inspiration to me uh, as a musician. He was a brilliant musician, but what he was was the best dad. Oh. He was just the most fair. <laughs> um, He was such a fair guy. Like he was the most fair human being I've ever known. What a what a compliment to yeah. offer. Yeah, he really was. This um, song, and it's 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 crazy to call "Dance with My Father" a song because it is a story. It is beautiful. It sends me into tears every time it starts. And the backstory is even more incredible with you and Luther Vandross. Yeah. Um, it was a tribute to his father originally. Yeah. Well, Luther and I had been friends. Uh, we became friends in, I think, 91, 1991. <clears throat> and we, beca we, we became fast friends. And then about six years later, I lost my father very tragically as a result of a car accident. And I was 33, and I was just in a complete tailspin for months and months. I, I didn't just lose my dad, I lost my best friend. I was just reeling, and my loved ones and my friends Everybody tried to help. They tried to offer some solace, you know, read this article, uh, listen to this, you know, lecture about grief, whatever. It was Luther who called me one night. And we talked on the phone for about two hours. And he just knew what to say. And, I, and it was a turning point. Flash forward maybe six more years later, he had just the title. Mm -hmm. and he called me and he said, I want to write a song with you called Dance With My Father. Mm. This song was the last song he wrote on the last album yeah. before he passed away. He mixed this song, recorded and mixed this song 10 days before he had the stroke that ultimately mm. took him from us. But in that time, I remember when he recorded it, he called me and he said, this is the most important song of my career. This is my piano man. This is my signature song. Yeah. This is, my, this is the song I'm gonna be identified with. And I remember thinking, Dude, it hasn't even been released yet. <laughs> like, don't don't yeah, jinx it. He was so right. You can go he was anywhere in the right. world. You hear this the minute it starts. Yeah. It just it brings a level of emotion and a beauty to fatherhood that's so often clouded by the macho dad or the dad yeah. who's supposed to be the mechanic or whatever. Right. And it just says, Dad, my father. 